And we have meteorologist Matt Makins, who's been crunching some numbers for us to help give us some perspective on, on the Big Thompson area. Matt? Well, here is that perspective. Picture last night, only two feet was the depth of the Big Thompson, just last night. Right now, where Lindsay's standing, I found a gauge right next to her. At 10 feet is the current depth, and it's fluctuated around 10 feet for a lot the last two to three hours came up from nine feet when she began her reporting. So it has risen, but not necessarily a dramatic rise. It's kind of reached a plateau. Then I grabbed some other numbers from recent events and also back in July of 1976, the Big Thompson flood was reported at a depth of 20 feet. We've been about half that today, not quite as high as in April of 1994, but certainly one of the top events we've ever seen or measured along the Big Thompson River. More impressive numbers coming out of the Boulder area. A couple of river sensors here just outside of Boulder at 2.44 a.m. was 9 feet. 3.26 a.m. it was 23 feet. That's a change of 14 feet in 45 minutes. Sounds a lot, doesn't it? Check this one out, though. A different sensor also rose 14 feet, but in six minutes at 1.31 a.m. to 1.38, that river rose 14 feet. That is definitely a flash flood. A couple of folks have been wondering about the other rivers around the Platte River, which flows through Fort Lupton. It is definitely high, one of the highest historically. Highest still is 10 and a half feet. That was back in April of 2007. Currently, we are just over 10 feet. But you can see with more rainfall on the way, we could easily become one of the top events for the Platte River flowing throughout Fort Lupton. And a couple of folks were concerned about the Cherry Creek running through Denver was quite high as well. Today, not all that uh, impressive historically, about seven feet. And then we're up to about 10 feet for some of the actual historically higher events. So obviously a lot of water out there and these levels continue to climb. Most of the, the gauges are plateauing except for those in Boulder County where Mike has been showing you the heaviest rainfall. We'll be back right after this.